Hi everybody, welcome to the anatomy of DTLT611. This is just a quick overview of what 611 entails. So I'm going to go through the topics that we need to cover and the review activities that we need to complete um, in order to meet the requirements, assignment requirements for 611. We start um, on our two day um, workshops trying to get through as many topics as possible um, from one to four. Um, main one being the stock take and stock take refers to your the course that you will be unpacking for 611. So as long as it's it's a course with minimum of six credit points and that it's um, longer than six weeks long um, then you can use that particular course to unpack it for your 611 assignments. It, uh, it, there are review activity sheets on the Moodle site that will give you the template. Um, it's a few pages long but all you have to do is find the answers to those um, questions such as what's the name of your course or what program it sits under um, and and what, how many credit points it is and so on and as soon as you fill in that template then you can create a link back to your um, review template um, which I will show you on another video. You also need to make a stakeholder map. Um, it's basically all the parties that have an interest in the course that the, you're unpacking for 611. So it, it could be a picture um, perhaps um, of all the parties that are involved in order to deliver your course. Learning design principles, second topic requires a concept map and sometimes it's a good idea to have at least topics one, three and four underway in order to come back to the concept map but um, it can be done straight away in order to highlight your own principles or your own ideas of what good learning design principles are. In topic three we look at course alignment and uh, again there's an activity 3.1 which you should fill in separately and put the link back into your review template. In topic four we look at outcomes. What What's going to happen when somebody goes through your course basically? What are your graduate um, characteristics and what are the learning outcomes that you would like to achieve in the course. Again, these are two activity sheets, they are templates, if you fill in those and put the link back into your overview review template then we'll be able to have a look at the details or the evidence that you're actually gathering to draw the picture of the course you're unpacking. And that's basically the first part.